Hello everyone. So we are live right now, and uh, I'm just uh, creating this video. Not really a video, but live streaming to uh, to basically uh, share something. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying uh, creating these videos. And before I actually start talking, I just want to quickly verify whether my voice is. Uh, going through or not so i'm just uh, checking yes i think my my voice is uh, working i was really embarrassed in the morning because uh, when i started the live streaming i did i did the whole live streaming and uh, i realized that uh, my voice after the after the streaming it after it was over i was reading the comments and uh, people were t- people were telling me that uh, there is no voice in your uh, live stream and it was a bit of a shame but uh, what i did i redid the streaming and uh, i thought i'll probably uh, i should probably do it again but anyways so this is another stream this is another live stream and uh, if possible i'll probably do it regularly so today so so the topic today is uh, something really uh, interesting so today i will be talking about uh, online editors so when i say online editors i mean uh, online code editors so in case you are trying to learn programming in case uh, you are uh, uh, interested or maybe you are uh, probably wondering how can i quickly get started with uh, with coding how can i quickly get started with uh, your with 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 your journey of uh, learning how to code so when you talk about programming when you talk about coding there are few things that you need of course you need a computer where you will uh, uh, install your compiler and then you will uh, start coding so that is number one you need a computer and uh, that is it basically you need a computer to start your code however these days there are so many things to learn so in case you're trying to learn uh, a standard programming language like uh, c++ if you're in college or java or if you're trying to build a mobile app then you definitely need to set up something on your computer but the good thing is that uh, there are so many languages that you can actually learn online and you can actually just code write code online everything can be just online so today i just want to share uh, something interesting uh, and uh, this is really important for someone who is uh, trying to learn how to code uh, for the very first time and uh, you have never done coding in your life and in case you're wondering uh, uh, what, what is the best way to get started so it is also possible to start coding online if you have a decent internet connection if you have a tablet for example it, it is a bit difficult to uh, write code from your mobile so i won't really recommend that but if you have uh, a decent internet connection and and you have a laptop uh, possibly with a uh, i mean if you have a tablet and of course a keyboard so i i would recommend that you at least get a keyboard to start learning your uh, i mean start your journey of coding so if you're learning some web technology so there are so many web technologies right now in the industry in the market and uh, most of these uh, web technologies can be actually learned online and when you're trying to learn coding you should probably i think it makes sense when you actually try it yourself you can't really learn how to code by just uh, reading books or watching youtube videos you should get your hands dirty so today i wanted to share this uh, uh this this concept of online integrated development environments uh, it is definitely possible these days to just do coding online and uh, i just want to share today two of those uh, online editors so first one is uh, w3schools.com if you go to their website and if you type in uh, w3schools.com/try it you can actually learn uh, you can actually first of all you will be presented with this uh, with this online editor and if you click on uh, uh, the 
write yourself button you will uh, be able to write uh, and uh, try some simple html so for example right now on the left hand side i have my my html code i can probably uh, you know do some change here for example if i want to change the uh, title to something else maybe i want to to write ravi sagar here and uh, maybe i want to to change the code here to something else and uh, maybe i also want to change the color background color to red maybe so you can learn html by going to this website and uh, if it is the very first time you're trying to learn uh, a web technology i think it makes sense if you start with html which is uh, the most uh, simple it it is not really always simple but uh, if you're trying to learn a web technology uh, i think it really makes sense if you start with html and this is a good place to start uh, your html journey so this is one thing that you can do uh, go to w3schools.com the other one is uh, code sandbox dot uh, io and this is really interesting because uh, uh, when you look when you look at this this website this uh, online editor code sandbox dot in uh you can actually do a bit more than html you can actually create uh, applications using uh, react using angular or uh, you know few other things so this is something really interesting and and uh, uh, the good thing is that there are some already some examples so let me first open the editor very quickly so if i click on the open uh this this button here that says open it will basically open an online editor a full fledged online ed editor with uh, so many features you can you can lo look at some of some of their examples so i'll probably show you those examples but uh, when you click on it you will be able to actually create some uh, serious applications so this is something that i highly recommend and uh, uh, code sandbox.io is uh, actually getting uh, very popular these days so this is one thing that uh, you can uh, definitely try of course start with the basics start with simple things but uh, uh, as a next step if you're trying to learn some uh, javascript frameworks i think this could be really interesting and uh, the good thing about this particular website is that there are some uh, examples so let us click on explore examples and uh, these examples are not just examples that you can uh, look at you can actually play with them you can modify them and uh, you can of course uh, use these uh, examples uh, later on to probably create something similar for example uh, uh, when you look at uh, these uh, sandboxes uh, there are some examples already that uh, you can uh, evaluate for example this one is really interesting the, this this particular example is uh, trying to create some kind of a kanban board uh, where you have drag and drop with uh, react hooks so let us see how it works so if you click on this particular example you can uh, now um, open this example in your editor and by the way right now i'm not even logged in so you can imagine you're you're able to do so many things without logging in of course it makes more sense when you actually sign up with them you can sign up with your with your github account and uh, you can uh, uh, then of course uh, store your code so let us look at this example this example is uh, trying to show you simple uh example of uh, creating your uh, standard kanban based boards where you have three columns and this is really interesting because maybe you're trying to create a simple to do list application but you also want to give this uh, visual format and uh, this looks uh, very much similar to your uh, trello boards uh, i know about trello because uh, we have to use it we have to know it because uh, i'm a I'm a consultant who works in Atlassian domain and uh, Atlassian is the company who is now who is now owning Trello Trello you know boards uh, and uh, this is something really interesting to, uh, for me to 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 also evaluate it evaluate it here you can simply start using this uh, online editor there are some other examples a bit more uh, complicated a bit more uh, you know interesting but of course in the beginning try with the basics so there is something called as 2d particle field 
This one is uh, trying to simulate something. I'm try. Uh, I'm just uh, let let us click uh, click on the open editor very quickly and uh, let us see what it can do. And I, I'm just trying to explain here that uh, this online editor code sandbox dot io is quite powerful. You can uh, actually create uh, complex applications uh, on this platform. And uh, the way it works, the way uh, you would work on these online editors, it is exactly similar to your offline editors. And a few days back, I made one video about uh, Coder.com. So let me show you Coder.com as well, where uh, you can uh, actually use the Visual Studio Code online. So this is also another example where you can uh, use this service called Coder.com and uh, you can take a look at the other video. I'll probably give you the link or you can find it on uh, my channel. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to share this uh, in case you're trying to learn how to code. Uh, you have a lot of options. You don't need to use your computer. You don't need to, I mean, you need a computer, but you don't need to set up something on your computer, the environment. You can start just doing it online. And in the, in 2019, we all have a decent internet connection. And uh, the good thing about this particular or these particular services is that you can always uh, uh, go back to your uh, code or your project or your uh, services, not services, but all the applications that you have been creating. And uh, uh, it is it is always online. It is always ready. You can probably collaborate with other people uh, to work on the code. And uh, this concept is really picking up these days. It has been there in the market for a while. Uh, there are some other services that are doing it uh, for quite some time, but uh, now it is uh, getting extremely popular to use these online services. So let us end this live stream and I hope uh, this uh, live stream was uh, useful. Thank you very much.